Well, Jane, thanks a lot for having us here. Uh, we just had a fantastic discussion about the future of education. Uh, I would be interested, given your political uh, background experience, what do you think is the role of uh, governments, of uh, public policy to spur innovation in education? So it's really hard in these times when um, the world is changing so quickly and technology is changing how we work and how we learn, even how we live so quickly for government to keep pace. And so one of the reasons that um, a place like Learn Launch is so important is that we help to bring together effective public-private partnerships so that the public um, sector and public policy can benefit from the best thinking in the private sector. And that can be uncomfortable sometimes, and those partnerships can be hard uh, to put together. But we act as an intermediary to make sure that the best minds doing the best work trying to impact education on the private side can integrate with uh, the policy and the decisions that are being made on the public side. And uh, trust seems to be a very important, essential uh, in that game. Uh, how do you manage, in fact, to get uh, teachers, uh, head of schools, all these sort of uh, stakeholders um, to work with your best minds or new innovative startups? Trust is really important. I think the most important thing that you need to remember when you're talking about education policy is that you're talking about people. Right? We don't teach computers. Um, we don't teach software programs. We teach students. Many times those students are children um, or they are workers who have been displaced by forces within our economy who are in a very vulnerable place. Or they are students in our country um, who are going to college and paying an extraordinary amount of money and their families are making significant sacrifices in order for them to access these um, education experiences. So remembering how much importance and how many sacrifices are being made for these students who are learning, I think is really critical to the trust. One of the great challenges for the entrepreneurs and the innovators who want to work in education is it's really hard to know who your customer is. Um, the person who pays you may not be the person who's using uh, your product or your innovation. And so you have to be able to be comfortable uh, with that degree of uncertainty. So you may have a policy leader who's setting policy that influences how you're going to work. You may have a buyer who has power over how you're going to implement your product, but ultimately you will have a learner uh, who has to be delighted in how they're experiencing your product. And then often you'll have to train a teacher uh, or an educator in how to implement it. So it's a very complicated um, activity that requires you to bring together a lot of different people, but um, the rewards of doing it well are that you can impact people's lives, which is the reason that I got into politics at a young age and why I've stayed involved in education. There's nothing more rewarding when you do it right. I agree. Last question. You've been to Berlin uh, and uh, we have come here now as a German delegation. What would be your recommendation? Uh, what shall we take home with us uh, for making innovation with uh, educational uh, ed tech startups possible in Germany? So I think the great tension, and I think you will experience it in Berlin the same way we do in the United States, um, is to have patience in a world that's changing very rapidly. Um, people do not like change. And so we have this great tension where we're trying to bring our learning systems forward to keep up with the great pressure of all of this change. But people are afraid of change and it impacts people in their lives. So how we manage that great tension um, in different cultures, with different language, with different systems, still ultimately, I believe, um, comes down to patience 
and understanding that it's about people. Um, and um, I, frankly, um, have to practice patience a lot. It's not something I'm innately good at. Um, but if you remember that it's ultimately about people and trying to help them, then you can somehow find that store of patience uh, to balance the need for quick progress uh, with making sure that you bring people along uh, who are fearful of change. Well, thanks for having the patience with us. It was a great uh, honor and pleasure for, for being here uh, with you. Thank, thank you. you.